Greetings family, KSOL Black Talk Radio, the new black media. Family, this video is about LeVar Ball, who stands his ground from his first take comments. And he says that Molly's mind was in the gutter. So family, if you were expecting an apology from LeVar Ball following his quote-unquote inappropriate comment to first take host Molly Quirum, don't even think about it. The Ball family patriarch is standing his ground, saying that his switching gears comment was made with no ill will. Now family, you and I, we already know this. What this is about is white fragility. I know I've been mentioning this quite a bit in my videos, but that's because it's going on strong. And that's exactly what we're witnessing daily. White fragility. Understand that. And so, unfortunately, when I looked at this situation, what I saw was a retake. It was a retake of the first time when LeVar Ball put that white woman in her place when he told her to, quote, stay in her lane. You all remember that. Now... They position him once again in front of the world and then they try to ridicule him, bring down this strong black man. But thankfully, and I'm glad, he's standing his ground. You know why? Because he has every right to, because he is right. There is nothing wrong about the term switching gears. Only white people with small, itty-bitty, tiny, minuscule brain cells. You notice I didn't say brains. I said brain cells. And I don't even mean that plural. It's somewhat dysfunctional. But I digress. Let me go back to this story here. And so, basically, um, oh, here we go. Sorry. Speaking to fans... At the Drew League, Ball downplayed his comment and instead shifted the blame to Quirum, whose, quote, mind was in the gutter. Exactly. It was her mind and those of other white people. It's your mind that's in the gutter. As a matter of fact, let me just state this. Terms that black men use are not inappropriate. And you know this. But because you have a fragile, small spineless little ego you think otherwise but I digress when asked about ESPN's decision to distance themselves from LeVar Ball quote I'm going to be banned and I don't work for them I'm going to be banned from ESPN I got my own show is what he says because if you don't know this family ESPN has distanced themselves they said that they're no longer going to welcome LeVar Ball to their show, at least for the interim. I think when they need some ratings and some, um, just some views, they'll have them back on, his, on their show. But anyways, he was then asked about the intent behind his comment to Quirm when he said, you can switch gears with me anytime. Well, they go on to claim, and this is white media, uh, quote, I don't even have to respond to that on the fact that I made no sexual intent or nothing, Ball said. Switch gears means change topics to me. Her mind was in the gutter if she was thinking of something else. Ball didn't stop there. Instead, he continued on his tirade saying that he wouldn't hit a quirum, hit on quirum in the figurative sense, but in the literal sense. Yes, physically and on one condition. Only time I hit on her is if she's breaking into my house and I mistake her for the boogeyman. <laughs> that is funny as hell. Oh, and then you can check out his comments, but we don't need to check out his comments because we know his comments, and it's asinine. This whole situation is totally asinine. But anyways, they say the comments are as tasteless as you can imagine. Instead of deflecting questions, Ball doubles down on what he said and points the finger at Quirum for misinterpreting his words. Words 
that were seen by many for what they were inappropriate and tasteless well that's because you guys have small individual brain cells that are dysfunctional is why you feel that way but anyways perhaps what's more damning is that his comment about hitting Quirum if she were to break into his house drew a laugh from the crowd well it should it's funny he's bringing humor into this dumbass situation someone is openly promoting violence against women and draws a laugh you guys are so fragile with your spineless asses sure LeVar's comments are in jest but the fact of the matter is that such comments should not be tolerated well that's because you guys say that because it's coming from a black man but ESPN has taken the first step in announcing they have no plans moving forward involving Ball and more outlets should follow including fans Ball doesn't need a platform anymore, nor does he deserve one. We can all be better in ensuring he doesn't get one. Well, see, no one and everyone shouldn't follow what you white media advocate. We should not, nor will I. And I hope my followers and subscribers don't either. Because we're tired of listening to you, white media. You guys have been wrong and foul far too long. And you've been an arm to white supremacy so no we reject what you have to say I'm for LeVar Ball whether you like it or not I'll watch him I'll listen to him and support him whether you like it or not this is KSOL Black Talk Radio you tell me what you think in the comments section but personally I really don't give a damn but you can do it anyways peace out